To open and close periods. In materials management, using Fiori, we navigate to the application called Close Periods. Over here we are able to insert a company code for which we want to close the period. If we leave this parameter blank, then what we are doing over here will count for all company codes in our client. So let me now select a company code. We can even select a range of company codes if necessary, but for now we will leave it as is. So we want to close the current period for the company code 1710. And then over here we have two options. We can either use the current date to identify the period we are currently in, or we could say we enter the next period. So let's assume currently we are on the 1st of April of 2023 meaning that we need to open the new period for April. So our last period was March. So I will enter a three over here and then the year. And this is basically it. Please be aware that you can't select use current date and insert a period and fiscal year. You can only either use the current date or use the period and fiscal year combination. It's also stated over here. Then we have three options. We can either check and close the period. If we hit this check mark, then the system will first check for any data inconsistencies and also for negative stocks in the previous period before closing the previous period and opening the new one. If we select check period only, on the other hand, then the system will only check whether the preconditions exist for closing the period successfully, but it won't close the current period. Or we could say close period only. So with this option, the system will run the period closing program without first checking the period to be closed. This will for sure reduce the runtime of the period closing program by approximately 50%. Most of the time I would recommend you to select this button over here, check and close period. Then you can see we have two more indicators over here. The first one says allow negative quantities and previous period. And this indicator specifies whether negative quantities are allowed in the previous period at the time of the period closing. If we do not set this indicator, and let's assume that there are stock segments with negative quantities in the previous period, then we can't close the last period. And also there's another indicator, allow negative values in previous period. So this indicator specifies whether negative values are allowed in the previous period at the time of our period closing. And if we do not set this indicator and there are materials with negative stock values in a valuation area, then the period closing operation is terminated by the system and we can't close the last period. And by the way, the valuation area can either be the plant or the company code. So materials are always evaluated either on a plant or a company code basis. Yeah, and that's basically it. Here for sure we need to adjust the 3 to a 4 because currently we are in April and our last period was March. And if everything fits, we can click on execute. The period and closing program will run. And afterwards, you will get a success message that the period was closed successfully. As I am already in the middle of April, I can't execute it right now, but you should get a success lock or an error lock when you click on execute. Let's now explore the other option to close and open periods, which is done in the financial accounting. So therefore we navigate to the application called manage posting periods over here. And we are forwarded to the initial screen of managing posting periods in financial accounting. Over here, we first need to include our posting period variant. The fiscal year variant will be set automatically depending on the posting period variant. By the way, the posting period variant is used to control the posting periods of one or even multiple company codes. If you want to find out more about posting period variants, I will leave you one of my other videos in the description of this one. However, now we click on go. You can see a list opened. Here you can see our posting period variant and the fiscal year variant. And then you can see the different account types. So plus is a special account type, which is valid for all the accounts. And then we got here specifically asset accounts, customer accounts, supplier accounts, material accounts, and general ledger accounts. And what we can do right now is the following. For instance, you can see over here our account type plus. This is the one which always says to be open for the normal postings is open. It's green for the adjustment postings. It's currently yellow. So what we can do is we can select this one, then we click on set posting periods. And then we have three options, open periods, schedule to run once or schedule reoccurrence. The latter two are used if we actually want to schedule closing and opening our periods either once or even on a monthly basis so that it is done automatically. However, for now we will do it manually via open periods. And then you can see our normal periods. It's open till the end of this year, actually. So normally you wouldn't see something like this. Most of the time you would see something like 2022 and then January up until December 
of the same year. So this would be a normal fiscal year. Then in the adjustment period, we state when the special periods for adjustment posting should be open. Let's also say 2023 to the end, but this time for the period 13, for instance. And then we even have a third option for CO related periods. This is used if the financial accounting is already closed, but we still want to process data from controlling to financial accounting. So we want to ensure that our controlling, so our managerial accounting period is still open and we can post data from the managerial accounting to the financial accounting system. But for now, this is fine. So we click on OK and you can see here the values adjusted accordingly. And this we can even now do for all of the other account types. So in the end, you would always go further normally one year. So here you can see we are in 2023. Next year, we will go for 2024 for the normal period from January till December, for instance, and then from the adjustment period, this can be from period 13 up until period 16, depending on your configuration. This is how we can manage our posting periods in both materials management and financial accounting. I hope you liked this video. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.